Many churches will be filled with people this weekend for Easter services. And one of those houses of worship is St. Peter Cathedral in downtown Erie. The Holy Day will be celebrated, but many may also be admiring the beauty of the church. Our John Laz takes us there for this Easter edition of The Last Word. I'm heading over to St. Peter Cathedral. For the longest time, there was scaffolding inside and out. It seemed like an endless renovation project. I want to know if everything is finished in time for Easter Sunday. Now that I'm inside, I'm blown away. The building is beautiful. No scaffolding, no hard hats to be found. The renovation and restoration project at the cathedral lasted seven years. It's now officially over. It's another reason to rejoice this Easter holiday. You know, Easter is always joyous, you know, the resurrection, but there's even more meaning at the cathedral because we're fully open. You know, all the restoration is complete, and also the word has gotten out. The multi-million dollar project started with the installation of a heating and air conditioning system and LED lighting. Then came the replacement of all the old plaster in the cathedral, the restoration of the pews, painting of the walls and ceiling, making the floors look brand new, and also restoring the organ. Outside, there's a new roof, and the stone towers were cleaned and repointed talk to anyone who's a regular at the cathedral the last five years, all they do is talk about scaffolding. The scaffolding was a constant appearance at the cathedral over the past few years. It limited the seating for church services, and there weren't many weddings here over the past five years because most bride and grooms did not want to get married amidst those metal towers. But the sacrifices of the congregation were worth it. There's sections of blue paint with gold star stencils high above the altar and the window arches. It's truly breathtaking. That work was completed just three months ago. So it was the Wednesday before Christmas that they got the scaffolding down, finally, the last phase of it. The pipes for a new sanctuary organ were installed three weeks ago. A new sound system was installed this past week. Yes. The renovation and restoration project is finally over at the Mother Church of the Erie Catholic Diocese, just as we celebrate Easter. And it turned out beautiful. Whether it's a winter day or a sunny spring day, to see the light come through the stained glass windows, it's just beautiful. With the last word at St. Peter Cathedral, John Last, Erie News Now. I think it's just breathtaking inside. Well, Father Farrick says this project costs seven to eight million dollars. The majority was paid by the parishioners of the cathedral, not by the diocese. And by the way, brides and grooms are especially celebrating the removal of that scaffolding. 20 weddings have already been scheduled for this summer.